You spoke up? Yeah. <laughs> Your media? Uh, yeah, media, yes. You're more important than yes. media. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, very disappointed. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, lack of consultation. There has been no consultation as far as I know from my community. I've not sat down once with government and talked shale gas. Um, we do have a, a, they, they do have a duty to consult and uh, they failed on that duty, and uh, so we'll be looking now for a court injunction and um, and uh, doing what we have to do. Are you concerned about the wastewater? Yes, definitely. You know, um, I think the question was asked about um, after much public outcry and um, uh, non-support for shale gas, um, why now? Um, you know, my first thing that comes to my mind is uh, the big deficit that New Brunswick is facing. And uh, this is going to bring uh, revenue, definitely. But what cost will it bring revenue into the province? Um, and I, I have to keep hitting home on the duty to consult. Sure, he wants to include us now in the blueprint. But where was he at the, uh, at the beginning talks of shale gas? You know, uh, the, the, the prop, uh, the, the province missed the boat on this one. Uh, you know, I think they uh, with Sisson at least, uh, you know, uh, they're consulting. But on shale gas, there was no consultation, and we're going to have to fight on that on that stand. Do you think that's the court injunction you're now going to seek? Well, we're going to seek. Uh, uh, you know, we'll be speaking to our legal uh, team, but uh, you know, with the uh, failure to uh, to consult, that we're going to ask for a court injunction to stop any. Uh, um, further uh, explore, uh, exploration on this on on swin and, and shale gas. The ministers seem pretty um, gung ho with this. They seem fairly confident in these rules. Do you see the fracking? Do you see this as an inevitability for the province, or do you think this is something that reasonably can be stopped? Uh, you know, I, I think that if they're following the rules, and the rules are for everyone to follow, that I think we'll, we will be successful in gaining a court injunction. Um, if you speak to the New Brunswickers, I am not sure they are sold on shale gas. Uh, uh, so uh, we, uh, we had the same conversation when Minister Northrup was, uh, uh, had the file. No consultation then. Uh, he walked away when I was trying to, to say, you know, you have not consulted. And there has been no talk, as far as I know, on shale gas. If there is, I'd like to see the dates and times of, of these meetings. Yes, Minister uh, Leonard was at a meeting yesterday, uh, or the other day, to, to meet with chiefs. We had our grassroots people there, and, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to, uh, to hear what they had to say. So. Uh, I think two days before they make this announcement is falling very, very short of their obligation. Chief Bob, when you say an injunction, do you mean an injunction to prevent them from development on any any First Nations community land? Any land, any Crown land. We have, uh, under a Peace and Friendship Treaty, we have not ceded any land. We have not given up any title to land. And so these are things that we need to be talking about before we can move ahead with, uh, with any kind of resource development in the province of New Brunswick. And your name, ma'am? Uh, Chief Candace Paul, St. Mary's First Nation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I missed your, uh, there's too many people, oh. so I missed your comments at the beginning. I, I would like to ask you maybe the same question. How do you react to what's going on today? How do I react? Oh, I'm very disappointed. Um, you know, in the, uh, in the handout, there's not, uh, under the definitions, there's not a definition of consultation. So how does the province uh, define consultation? It's clearly defined that they have a duty to consult with First Nation people and to give, and for us to give free and prior consent. There was no consultation, none whatsoever. So that is what we will be seeking, you know, our legal advice on. Um, 
it, it is very disappointing to uh, to uh, hear now that they will be meeting up with us on the um, the blueprint. You know. Uh, this shale gas is, is uh, very, very um, important to First Nation people and the environment. And all New Brunswickers need to be to be worried about shale gas. And um, I do think that, and I, I agree, the province is in a deficit, and they 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 need to find uh, uh, some revenue. But it can't be at all costs. You know, they 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 we have those rules. We have those rules to protect to protect us, and they're not going and they're not following these rules. So, you know, again, we will have to end up in court. Does the solution like <laughs> looks like they're going ahead with the this industry? So, what's going to be? What, what are you going to do? What do you plan to do to, to make your point? Well, we'll definitely uh, seek the, our legal advice. We have uh, um, a team of lawyers and. Uh, um, we'll seek a court injunction. Uh, we have the idle no more people. We will have people. We have, uh, you know, um, all kinds of environmentalist groups that are concerned about it. Um, we will do what we have to do to stop this. Thank you. Thank you. I almost got crushed by by the video. <laughs> okay, before I was brutally. Disturbed? Uh, did you find out where uh, where the first one is going to be? No, no. Did you? No. Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll find out, and, and we'll be there. Thank you. Okay.